to another edition of Entrepreneurship 101. My name is David Shans, and I'm an entrepreneur, man, full-time entrepreneur. I ain't got no job, okay? I'm unemployed, okay? Listen, ladies, the next time your mama tells you to date a man that has a job, tell her, but I don't really want to. And she's gonna say, you gotta find a man that has a job. And he'd be like, no, I wanna date an entrepreneur. They ain't really got a whole lot to do with what I'm talking about. But Entrepreneurship 101, we just talk about entrepreneurship, the basics and fundamentals of going from your job to your dream or getting that idea out of your head and building a business. Today, now this might not have a lot to do with every single industry, but I think you can create some parallels I just thought this was pretty cool. One of my very first mentors, uh, Mr. Chilio, shouts out to my boy Chilio. He kind of taught me the game in fashion. He said something to me real casually. I didn't write it down then, but it stuck in my head. And what he told me was there are a bunch of different types of shoppers. The first type of shopper is the A shopper. Right? So your A shopper, those are the people who are fashionable. I'm talking about the dudes that dress weird. Like, a bit, like it's weird at first, and then you see like maybe three, four years later, everybody else is dressing like the people that was weird. I'm talking about the people who are wearing skinny jeans before it was cool. These are your trendsetters. Your A shoppers are your trendsetters, okay? The people who are ahead of the curve. You also have your B shop. So look, I'm not gonna write shoppers every time. You got B, C. So you got your B shoppers, and your B shoppers, they're high fashion, but in fashion. The people who are really fashionable for right now, and everybody respects their fashion sense. Check it, check it out. Straight out of the ghetto. None of the Beverly Hills are flush and metal. Yep, though, I made it this far and had to gamble, scramble, pedal. Ain't no shame in my game, man. I came through like a double bread. But still, there's more ahead. These are the people who are wearing skinny jeans now that it's cool and it's starting to get popular. I mean, they weren't wearing it when it wasn't cool, but now they're wearing it to create cool because it's more accepted by more people, okay? They're really, really fashionable. You also got your C shoppers. Your C shoppers, they just want to look nice. Presentable, put their colors together. They're not super worried about the labels and stuff. They just want to look nice. They care about their appearance, but not necessarily high fashion stuff. They're not those type of people. They just want to look nice and clean. Your D shopper, they wear clothes because it's illegal not to. It's like they go in the closet with their eyes closed and then pick Pick out clothes and just grab whatever's next. You know they ain't iron it. But one of the lessons that he taught me was to break down my industry into these four different areas, right? My A shoppers, they spend more money on their clothes. My B shoppers spend a little less money, but still a bunch of money on their clothes. My C shoppers, they spend a little less. And my D shoppers, they don't spend that much. My D shoppers, they're not gonna buy a $25 t-shirt. Okay. My A shoppers, they're gonna buy a $75 t-shirt. You have to ask yourself, who am I? I talking to you have an industry for my barbers right are you looking for the people who just want to even all around they only come when they got a job interview and they don't really care how it looks or are you talking to the celebrities who want you to come to their house or they want the Beijing like you have to figure out what different shoppers you have in your industry and focus on ones my shoppers are between B and C I'm not super high fashion okay I'm not selling a $75 t-shirt I'm not selling a $5 t-shirt either okay we're not selling the 798 boys I know you're not gonna do that Way. Eat that. That's 30 cent worth of oatmeal. That's two dollars on fire. Unplug that clock, boy. You can't tell time when you sleep. It's two cents an hour. I'm right in here, right? And I know that. So if you know your industry, you know who you're tailored to. Now, my question for you is: what is the best industry? To target. Hmm? Hmm? What's, uh -huh. What? No, you wrong. You got it, all of them. As long as you know who you're talking to. Yo, you can sell a million t-shirts at $5 a piece and make $5 million. Or you can sell less high-end clothes and still get the same result in everything in between. It's about knowing your market, knowing your industry. So what I want for you to do, I want you to not only define your industry, but break down your industry into subsections and figure out who you're targeting. Very smart person taught me one time, if you're not talking to someone, you're not talking to anyone. If you're trying to talk to everyone, you're not talking to anyone this is what I mean you have to have a target market you have to be talking to people who feel like you're talking to them but if you're just talking to everybody nobody feels special and no group of people will get behind you in this freedom fight like there are certain a shoppers that they're not going to shop with me why because I'm not tailored to them they want to be like ahead of the game they want to wear stuff that ain't nobody wearing at all my D shoppers they not really messing with me either 
because I'm not trying to make it affordable for y'all. I'm not going to lower my standard for the $7 t-shirt, but these people right here feel like I'm talking to them. And that's why our brand continues to grow because we're targeted, okay? Now, I'm not saying that an A shopper or a D shopper won't buy my clothes because they both do. But once you get more targeted, you'll make more sales, okay? So, um, Brandon, how was that? Okay. Was it awesome? Like scale of one to 10, awesomeness. Like, yeah, I'm done. Go to my website, sleepisforsuckers.com. I also wrote a really good book, uh, Dreams Are Built Overnight, and it kind of talks about how to make the transition from your job to your dream. Listen to me, listen to me. I can be your coach. I can coach you. Did you know that? I can coach you. Okay, I can like get you on the right path, put you in an environment of other people that are winning. We just dropped a coaching program, man. Clap for me. Come on, clap. Sleep. Sleepless nights coaching, okay? Sleepless nights coaching at gmail.com. Come get your business analyzed. Send an inquiry email. I'm missing anything. We're done. Can I drop this? Is this like a mic? Yes.